whoever loses this is out of the FIFA 21 challenge. It's as simple as that. The scoreline, as it stands, is in the favour. Three goals to two. Here's a small look at the team then. So I'm guessing Trent is on the right there. Obviously, you can see Fnatic times Trent. What have we got in there? Nine icons on the other side of that. A little bit of a different team. Yeah, very different when you look at this. They share in a few icons. Of course, Trent is using himself. So you see Trent Alexander-Arnold playing with Trent Alexander-Arnold. So that answers your question. You're, you're wondering if these guys are going to put that into motion. Uh, I, I'm excited. I think it's going to be another one of these games goal fest. I just don't think that defense is the, I guess, top priority in this FIFA. It's a lot of back and forth action. And with pressing and, and with how you're able to take away space and really adjust the tempo in a match, it can get out of hand quickly. Here we go, we are underway. Trent Alexander-Arnold maybe to kick things off in the most perfect of ways. Oh, went for a cheeky chip. We know how good the chip is. I know you're a big fan of it, Mike. I saw you come out on social media a couple of weeks back saying, if you can get the chip right, it can be so, so good for you. And I mean, we saw Moalba nearly score one that was cleared off the line from Furlong Mendy. And what, three minutes into this one, Trent Alexander-Arnold nearly opened up his account and it would have been a two-goal lead on aggregate. Yeah, without a doubt, the chip life has been approved. And I'll tell you right now, I'm, I'm concerned for Gio. Uh, he's just playing a little bit slower, and I don't know that FIFA 21 allows you to get this learning curve under your belt. When you make a mistake, there's so much space to work with. And as long as you're being clinical, which I'm glad you Mo Alba and uh, Tex in the first matchup, neither of them took all their chances. But I, I would say in a different day, at a different time, if uh, Mo Alba was a little more clinical, we would be talking about him potentially even winning that game, if not having that five-all final that he put out on social. You're seeing chance after chance there from Trent Alexander-Arnold. It was uh, three chances in the first 10 minutes here. One thing that you will notice, there's a three at the back formation in action from Gio Reyna. That's actually going to open up gaps. You haven't got those full backs. Instead, you've sort of got left wing back and right wing back. Lovely it's ball. also worth mentioning as well, if you guys are just tuning in, this is over two games, so that's where you're seeing the aggregate with a 3-2 win for uh, Fnatic Tex. Just one thing to put your mind on as well, Mike. What do you make of sort of finesses this year on the edge of the box? They don't naturally seem to be as effective as, you know, we remember the FIFA 19 days, you timed it green, it was into the back of the net. A little bit last year you saw it, more sort of you drag back natural finishes, but it just seems like finesses on the edge of the box have sort of... They're not as effective as they was. I mean, you almost have an array or an assortment of offensive technicalities that you can use within FIFA this year. Because you say that, and I believe in you, I agree with you, but at the same time, I see them go in sometimes. That's true. So they might not be as consistent, but speak, speak of the devil, it almost flies into the back of the net. And I always see these highlights and montages that are going out with FIFA 21. And the goals I didn't even think were possible. I didn't know you could score these. And it's happening during the weekend league. It's, it's happening during division rivals. So it's not just when you're battling through squad battles. You're playing your friends. These are happening in competitive matchups. You saw two of them there from Gio Reyna. Trying to just finesse it into that right top corner. Chance to break. Remember that three at the back. It's going to cause gaps. It's going to cause problems potentially. Chance. There's a sweaty on. He's going to take it. Maradona with it. And that's a two-goal cushion for Trent Alexander-Arnold. And I'm sure somewhere, Fnatic Tex will have a slight smile on his face because he knows he's pretty much on his way to making it into another grand final. And any FIFA player knew well before that pass was delivered that that was going to be squared across. You've got to convert that opportunity. Keep it simple. Once you turn the corner, easy pickings. It's just a clever finish, isn't it? You go from... Always talk about it in percentages terms, the chance which probably would have went in anyway with a player like of R9's quality in the area. So making sure it'll be a 100% chance, it's going to go into the back of it. There's another card back, it's taken a wicked deflection back to Maradona. We'll try and make something happen. Ramos just about does enough to intercept it. We'll break through with numbers. That is the one thing that Gio does have on his side. When you play a three at the back, you naturally have more players to, to bomb on forward. Lovely ball, slightly too heavy. And it will be Levy Ashen off his line. That's a couple of icon keepers we've been presented with on the FIFA 21 Challenge. Mark. We've had Petr Cech, we've had Yashin. Who else is going to be in use tonight? That's the question. Well, when you're starting to analyze or, or really try to dissect goalkeepers, there's so much preference involved. It'll always be subjective. Uh, there's never necessarily one goalkeeper that is the best. It's always going to be between a few guys and how you fit them into your team. There we go. 
That's another goal for the tally. Cheeky chip towards the back post. We know Heading's great this year. Crossing is a viable way to score. That is a three-goal cushion now. And it's lucky that Gio Reyna has got a three at the back formation just because he needs to get more players forward. He needs to score goals. He's had a couple of chances on the edge of the box. Maybe not the best decisions in terms of the, the shot type he went for. Now he's got a huge mountain to climb and anything it's one-way traffic Trent coming forward once again Maradona who's got all that pace on that right cam area and you find a cut back we'll find Vieira back to Maradona fakes the pass into R9 interchanges even better with Eusebio this is nice from Trent he's free flowing in the box aggressive three goals Mike it's a huge ask and this isn't really a surprise you see the fluid movement offensively it's very diverse uh, in FIFA 21, you kind of have a bouquet, so to speak, of offensive benefits uh, where you can score through the wings, you can score via skills, you can uh, score score with a lot of the quick passing, you can go with the tiki-taka, through balls, you, you name it, it's possible. Could have been another one for Trent before the half. Lovely fake shot, it's clever from Trent, he's dancing in the box. That's what R9 offers you, I tell you what. I don't know how or what the defender got on that there but it was clearly enough ball into the box headed away five minutes away from the half-time whistle the Gio Reyna I'm sure just want to get into that half-time interval without conceding another one because before we know it, it could be four nil down I mean what's got to change here Mike he's three nil down on aggregate you've got to go more attacking we know he's playing three at the back is it a question of constant pressure getting that depth as high as possible well, with team pressing being definitely overpowered as a tactical adjustment here, and because he has additional bodies, he's going to have to start to add that into the gameplay just to, to win it higher up the pitch. And there is a goal back for him. Maybe a way back into the tight. Pele on the score sheet one minute before. The end of the half, and that's exactly what Moalba would have needed. I'm sure he's watching somewhere in the background here. Praying that this three at the back, probably not the best start to the game, can be overturned. We know that FIFA can really go any way. Zidane to reinstall that. Maybe Ashid off his line. Both players agreeing on something there. That the Russian icon deserves a place in the team. Zidane trying to still do what he can. Virgil van Dijk just about doing enough. Referee, that'll do us for half time here and hopefully a quick look at some of the stats. But I think, in all honesty, there you can see 10 shots. At half time, and I mean, both players playing through at the back, both players trying to get as many players forward, Mike, to uh, to try and score as many goals as they can. It just seems like attack, attack, attack from both of these two. Well, you, you could see that it was an onslaught uh, in both ways uh, when you're going forward and you're going forward often and you're being aggressive. Uh, this game in particular really rewards you for going for it, whether it's the skill moves, whether it's the one twos, it's the through balls. I, I feel as if the offensive players more often than not get a slight advantage which is how i would personally prefer it and even with some of the dribbling i've been really impressed uh on, on the pitch between both sides well, i know it's personal preference and that is the beauty of fifa ultimate team it's always been a case of build your dream team but kevin de bruyne actually got a start there for geo in this game and it's, it's only now that cristiano ronaldo has just been subbed onto the field this could be a little bit worse oh nine lots of space you don't give that man space or even a sniff in the box because he's going to punish you every single time. And that is that three-goal cushion reinstated once again. Talking about R9 scoring goals in competitive play, that sounds very familiar. Just a word on that, though, Mike. Kevin De Bruyne getting the start. I mean, of course, these guys are playing on... There that he went for the Belgium. Don't get me wrong, Kevin De Bruyne, a fantastic player that easily slide into a number of people's teams, including mine. Pirlo even getting the nod. Chance there back to goal. Ronaldo off the bench. She's timed it red, I believe. And it's just gone wide. That's Ronaldo's first chance since he's been introduced at the half-time whistle. But I just feel like if you went sort of team to team, Mike, we went into this game. You saw both teams sort of line up against each other. Trent's team just looked the better of the two as well. Don't get me wrong, you can clearly see a skill gap here between the two and who's been playing a lot more FIFA 21 but if you had to go team to team I think Trent had the better team I'd agree with you that Trent had a better build especially for competitive play more players that kind of fit into the meta fit into the gameplay uh, just fit into what's most effective e even with that being said though I would happily take either of these squads uh, instead of what I'm using with the weekend league 
chance. There is a goal. There's one thing that we've certainly been spoiled with. Look at that aggregate scoreline. That's what we want to see. Plenty of goals flying in. This game, of course, is flying both ways. So I come right off Gio Reyna. Six goals to four. He is down by two still. And there is 30 minutes left in the tie. There's a lot of time left in this. I think one thing we've seen here, look, you can see Gio Reyna. He's got a four at the back formation. That's one thing that he clearly changed the half time. The key is going to come down to defense. I mean, we saw that last game. It was going to be decided who was able to not only take their chances, but also be able to stop the opposition. Another chance for the cup at that time. No way through, unfortunately. As we said, whoever wins this game will book a place in the grand final of the FIFA 21 Challenge. And then we will turn our attentions to our second semi final matchup. We've seen the likes of Levy involved. Tux Gravison. Also, the Hakimi of Inter Milan and Declan Rice of West Ham United. Plenty more FIFA to come up. Lovely ball. Look at the space. Maradona's got acres of it. He's had so much space and time in that right area. Looking to add another goal onto his tallies. A down back to R9. Really patient from Trent. Really well done. It deserves a goal. It will get a goal. And the main thing here, Mike, it's so important. Even at a three-goal cushion, that's been three different occasions in the game that he's reinstated that lead. He's never given Gio a chance to even get a taster back into it as this show does go on in the next weeks. Open up, lovely ball over the top, just off the bar from Maradona. I mean, speaking of Maradona, it, uh, I was going to say Richard. I'm so used to, to commentate with Richard as a first for us, Mike. Um, Maradona, not an icon that I think many pros would start with, of course. You know, Trent Alexander Arnold, the, a pro in his own right, on the real pitch, not on the virtual one. It, it, you know, what is it about him that maybe does not, he's not the full package to pros? Is it his height? Uh, it's, it's a few different characteristics. Uh, not having the weak foot has always been a detriment. It makes you a little more predictable. He's also a specialist. Typically, if you're using Maradona, you want him in the middle of the pitch, your number 10 role, and you only get one of those guys. So you're saying, this is my top player. This is the best player for this position. And in past FIFA installments, uh, you've gone with his Argentinian counterpart. You get Messi into the squad if that's the look that you're going for, especially after Messi receives a team of the year or a team of the season or any of the new promos or upgrades. You're saying, that's my guy. I'm going to roll with them. Uh, and Maradona's always had some of those concerns, almost an asterisk, that he's not only a little bit undersized or being a specialist, but he also is not two-footed, which kills your creativity sometimes. It makes you easier to defend. And when you're looking at the competitive level, all these minute details, you need those competitive advantages. Just three minutes left in the tie. We'll have one name in that grand final, one team, I should say. It will be the team of Fnatic Tex and Liverpool Trent Alexander Arnold with a seven goal to four win. Unless there's one more. I'm sure there could be. Little cheeky chip. Unfortunately, not enough in the chip. But a really good performance, Mike, over the two legs for that team of Tex and Trent. Both having different tasks on their hands, different opponents. Of course, this one, a couple more goals in it, but overall, deserved win in the end and that'll be Trent Alexander-Arnold and Sean Heap 